All right, so how's it going? I hope you enjoyed that. I really love playing with droplets and basically all the plugins made by Geraint Luff, they're all gold. So I really like working with uh, controlled randomization, let's call it. It's kind of like playing with somebody else, which is really nice, especially if like me, you haven't had a band in a while. So I always kind of felt like writing music on my own feels like, you know, <laughs> playing ping pong against the wall, you're never gonna win. But on the other hand, when you bounce your ideas off of people, then you start to get into kind of more interesting territories that you may not be able to access on your own. And I just wanted to quickly add a few workflow tips and some routing options that you can explore. I'll show you how I set my droplets up. So as you can see, I have four generations of tracks kind of working together. And on the very bottom track, I have the droplets plugin and I have this MIDI velocity control. Right now it's not doing anything, but it's good in case you found that what droplets is generating is a little bit too quiet or a little bit too loud. Now, like we said, Droplets itself has this velocity control, but you may still want to have some additional control over the overall velocity of what's coming out of Droplets. So on the grandchild track called Droplets Write is where I would, well, write my MIDI. And if I want to play in real time, it's also from here. So once I play or write whatever it is that I want to do, then all the MIDI flows upward. So on this track called Droplets Transcribe, I would be transcribing whatever it is that Droplets generates. And you can do this by right clicking here and going to Record Output MIDI. So let's check that out. So I just did one take. You can do more takes and kind of mix and match them. But as you can see right here, these are the notes that were input into droplets. And then those are written onto this track. This is nice because I can record in takes and I can kind of mix and match and comp a few of these random performances into one thing that I like. But also I get like micro control over every note generated. So once I transcribe, there's just a ton more stuff that I could do. And I get even more control over this randomly generated pattern. And finally, one once I generate one of these and I like it, I can go ahead and mute this droplets track that will save me on like, you know, 1% of CPU or something because droplets is doing a lot of processing. So after that, this parent track, there's no plugins on it or anything. It just sends the MIDI up to this grand parent track where my instrument is on. And for instrument, if you're interested, I'm using cloud drum, which is a free cloud drum or pan drum or hang drum or aqua drum, whatever you want to call it, VSTI by ample percussion. And then there's this other plugin by Garen's Love, which we will look at in a future episode as well. And that's how I set mine up. You can do the same thing via routing rather than creating parent children, whatever floats your boat. And of course, it can all be on one track as well. So you can just put your droplets as the first plugin on your track or as input effects, and then put whatever VSTI you want to control next to that. And that'll be enough to get you sound and all of that. But with this system, I get a little bit more control. And on the drum side, I basically have the same situation going on. So droplets is here and I can write whatever drum hits I want to make up my groove as just whole notes on here. And as you heard on the track, I have some specific snare hits as well. And that allows me to keep my pulse straight so I can play bass with it. So I don't want the drum groove to be fully, fully random because that may just sound a little too random. But by mixing and matching some randomly generated elements down here and then having a very strict snare hit going on and later I even add kick to that, I get a groove that's very randomized and it's evolving over time, but it's also coherent and you can play with it. And once you put them together, they sound a little bit like this. And once again, both of these are summing up to this track and they are being transcribed here. And this is really crucial when you're generating drum grooves because ultimately you want it to sound like a human is able to play this. So sometimes what is generated would just sound too superhuman, like three kicks hitting at the same time. So I get control over that stuff as well. And I can come and kind of like declutter some of my kick hits. I can play with the velocity, kind of like ramp up to the peak of the song if I want. And once again, I can come and mute the writing tracks to save up a little bit of CPU. And then this again feeds into my drum plugin. And there's even a few presets that this ships with. So everything up to glitter is made by Garant Luff. And I added these two presets to it, uh, the strummer and the groove generator. So you heard the groove generator. And I think the strummer is pretty cool too. So let me show you that. I just have a couple of run of the mill chords here. And basically I have droplets set to play at its highest rate. And it's quantizing kind of like three fourths of the way. And the release is set to 
are really high. So basically, this kind of works like somebody strumming a guitar with a little bit of uh, abandon. So let's hear that. And once again, it's a little bit wonky, but we get to transcribe it and play with it from there. But it saves a lot of time versus having to actually write a strumming pattern if you're using MIDI VSTi on a guitar. So everything you're hearing in this project and some elements you're not hearing, I have muted them out to kind of roll them out slowly. Everything here is done by free plugins and every JSFX plugin by Garant Luff. So in the upcoming few tutorials, we're going to go over all of them. And I'll put the link for Garant's JSFX repository in the description and in the blog post as well. And basically all you need to do is copy this link into Reapack or you can just download them as a zip file and import them into Reaper, whatever you want to do. And this page is awesome. It lists all of the effects that he's written and there's a decent amount of information on all of them as well. And obviously the interfaces look incredible. It's amazing that somebody would take the time to write all this code, do God knows how much testing and trial and error and then just give it away for free. So please also donate to him if you can. And Garant himself also has a YouTube channel where he provides tutorials to almost all of his JSFX plugins. Droplets wasn't one of them, so I decided to do it. And I emailed him and got his blessing to do these tutorials. And he will also be joining us on a future live stream. So I personally have that to look forward to and please join us. Let me know in the comments what you think about this series. This is something new I'm trying out. So let me know how you like it or if you don't. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.